Welcome back to Morning After, everyone. I'm Ron Corning. It is 1018 on this Thursday morning. And the LA Times recently reported on a wide range of allegations against two top executives at CBS News, specifically Peter Dunn and David Friend, both of whom were in charge of making hiring decisions at 28 local television stations across the country. Well, CBS has now put them on administrative leave as it conducts a third party investigation. Here locally, the allegations, though, came as no surprise to Dallas traffic anchor Tammy Dombeck. For almost seven years, the EEOC represented Tammy in a case of alleged age discrimination at the CBS-owned television station here in DFW, KTVT. You may know it as CBS 11. Tammy settled that case last year and for the first time talks exclusively to Morning After. So I'm so excited to be here. I'm so glad y'all have me. And Let's I'm start really by explaining here. to people what the final word on this was. This was a, a settlement, correct? Yes, this was a settlement. Um, we were set to go to a jury trial, all the way to jury trial, but then COVID hit. And then we started talking mediation and settlement. And in a settlement, the uh, company, yes. in mm -hmm. this case, CBS, KTVT is the local affiliate of CBS, mm -hmm. they don't admit to any wrongdoing. Correct. In the absence of that, do you still feel like it's a victory? Oh, that's a good question, Ron. <laughs> that's a really good question. I guess because there there was a monetary sum that 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 was somewhat you know helpful, and there were certain things that they have to put up now at CBS DFW that talks about the federal laws, and they're supposed to do a training now, and they're supposed to have training for their HR. So there were other things and sanctions that were um, imposed upon them because they did go against the Age Discrimination Act. And the crux of this, interestingly enough, was in black and white. They posted an ad mm -hmm. for, for the job. Yes. You were filling in as a freelancer at the time. Yes. And in looking to fill it full time, they posted the job. And it had several things in it specifically which mm -hmm. are of interest and came into play in this case. The ideal candidate will have on-air traffic reporting experience as well as strong knowledge of local traffic in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Applicant must have at least five years professional broadcasting experience. You to that point had had 15 years? 15. Of experience? Yes. In Dallas-Fort Worth? In Dallas-Fort Worth. And when they finally made a hire, describe for me the qualifications that person brought to the table. So going back in that, I would be in, you know, I would be in the studio and they would bring candidates into audition while I was there. And anchors and meteorologists would just turn to me and look at me and say, Timmy, what is going on? You know, and I'm like, they told me I'm a candidate. Mm -hmm. These people here at CBS have told me I'm a candidate. I'll get my audition. I will get my interview as well. Um, but I would say like 99% of the people that they brought in were all in their 20s. And a lot of them pageant, pageant, you know, pageant girls and NFL football chillers, which there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But they didn't meet, you know, the qualifications of the job description. And the first person they offered the job to, for whatever reason, decided not to Amanda. take it. And the search was on yet again. And during that search, you submitted your application yet again? Again, the news director, January 1st, and sent me a text and said, we need to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. And at that point, we had went gone through the holidays that, that December with me thinking that there is no way this is going to be my position. They've told me they've hired someone. So then he came back, he said, our first applicant has fallen through, and I would be a fool to not reconsider you to come, to come back to the morning show in January. Mm -hmm. I said, I'll need to think about it. I did go back. I felt like this was the opportunity. Uh, one of the morning anchors was so sweet and the meteorologist like, please come back. We know if they can see the chemistry between us and the ratings continue to go up, that this is gonna be a great morning show group. So I did then go back. Mm -hmm. And then they continued to bring the applicants in to interview and audition. And ultimately they did offer it to somebody who had mm -hmm. no knowledge of DFW traffic as stated by the ad did not have five years experience as was stated among the qualifications Correct. in the ad. And was that the last straw for you? Yes. That you felt used? Yes, very used. Like yes. you were good enough when there was no one else? Oh, absolutely. That's a great way to put it, Ron. What if their ad had said looking for someone with minimal broadcasting experience, willing to learn over time the roads and the traffic in DFW, would you have filed this suit? I probably still would have filed the suit, yeah. 
Yeah, because even when I was there and the applicants were coming in, you know, I just knew so many people would just turn to me and say, Tammy, this is blatant mm -hmm. age discrimination. So I, I probably still would have, in hindsight, done it. The legal standing may not have been as strong, have your lawyer said? Right. It if probably they hadn't defied have. their own post? You're, abs you're absolutely right, Ron. You're absolutely right.